Good evening. Welcome to this short Office of Night Prayer for today, May the 27th, the Wednesday between Ascension Day and the Feast of Pentecost. My name is Bruce Saunders and I'm a member of the ministry team at Holy Trinity Westbury on Trim here in Bristol. This is night prayer but it's a glorious evening outside, the sun is still shining. Um, I've lit a couple of candles to create a little atmosphere uh, for those of you who might watch this later on or those who want to go to bed early. In the name of God, Creator, Redeemer and Sustainer. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. In silence for a moment we think back over the day that's behind us, for all that's been achieved or not achieved, for the opportunities we've missed, for the things we've said or not said that we now regret. In penitence and faith we pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sin, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Verses from Psalm 86. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer, and listen to the voice of my supplication. In the day of my distress I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Knit my heart to you, that I may fear your name. I will thank you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name for evermore. Great is your steadfast love towards me, for you have delivered my soul from the depths of the grave. To die, to sleep, no more. Hamlet wasn't the first to make a connection between sleeping and dying. The ancient monastic office of Compline, on which this service of night prayer is based, begins, the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end, peaceful sleep and a good death. 
right through human history and tragically for many people today there is no guarantee of waking in the morning. One of the prayers I was taught as a small child was this night as I lie down to sleep I ask the Lord my soul to keep and if I die before I wake I pray the Lord my soul will take. A bit grim for a child you may think but my father was in a TB isolation hospital for a good chunk of my early childhood so the possibility of somebody in our family dying was never very far away. Very old couples sometimes tell you don't they that the secret of their long and happy marriage is never to go to bed angry. Say sorry, thank you, put right what needs to be put right before you go to sleep because you may not get another chance. Perhaps that's one of the things that makes the present lockdown arrangement so hard you can't be there to tie up those loose ends even when you know someone is at the end of their life. At the end of the day, in the evening, it's good to sort out some of those loose ends with God as well. This service started by acknowledging the ways we've damaged our relationship with God and our neighbour during the passing day. And the service ends with us entrusting ourselves and those we are being, we are, those we are praying for into God's hands with the same words that the dying Jesus used on the cross. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For us, with every hope of having another go tomorrow, we're asking God to make good our mistakes, to forgive us, to wipe the slate clean and allow us to start again in the morning without a great load of guilt and shame dragging us down during this new day. People have often pointed out that it's too late to start learning how to die when you're on your deathbed. We have to start practicing long before the moment arrives. Fortunately, fortunately, life provides us with plenty of learning opportunities, whether we like it or not. Every time we say goodbye, I die a little. Cole Porter was right. Every ending, every loss, every bit of us that falls off or stops working is a test of how well we can let things go. Not forgetting. Of course, not forgetting. Letting go, as when children grow up and leave the nest, still allows us to look back with joy and gratitude. But we're not then wearing ourselves, wearing ourselves out impossibly trying to hold on to yesterday. I suppose the best proof of that particular pudding would be how contentedly we could sleep tonight if we knew we would not wake in the morning. Is my trust in those everlasting arms sufficient to allow me to let myself fall into God's hands tonight? to know that all manner of thing shall be well. I've mentioned before George Herbert's poem Evensong as the perfect way to end the day. Another is Thomas Ken's hymn that begins Glory to Thee, my God, this night. We sing it to Talis's canon. Ken looks back over the day and says, Forgive me, Lord, for thy dear son, the ill that I this day have done, that with the world, myself and thee, I, ere I sleep, at peace may be. But he's also committed to living and to looking forward to tomorrow. Sleep that shall me more vigorous make to serve my God when I awake. But he puts it all within an even longer view. Teach me to live, that I may dread the grave, 
as little as my bed. May the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia! The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, shall teach you all things. Alleluia! Alleluia! Simeon's song, the old man who on the point of death welcomed the newborn Jesus. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia! The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, shall teach you all things. Alleluia! Let us pray. First, the prayer for these days between Ascension and Pentecost. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And now we commend into God's care and keeping those for whom we wish to pray tonight, our friends, families and loved ones, wherever they may be, people in the hospital, our care workers and medical professionals, for the homeless and the lonely and those who are tonight close to the end of their lives. Watch, O Lord, with those who wake, or watch, or work, or weep tonight. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, O Lord Christ. Rest your weary ones. Bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones. Pity your afflicted ones, shield your joyous ones, for your love's sake. Amen. And at the ending of the day, we pray for the dawning of God's kingdom, as we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace, 
we will lie down and take our rest. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the day is now past and the night is at hand. As the watchman looks for the morning, so our hearts long for you, O Christ. May the Holy Spirit of God bless and sanctify us so that we may be consecrated in the truth. Amen. Good night and sleep well.